What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here, and welcome back for another episode of Free From Fab, where I review the free for a short time assets off of Fab. Every two weeks, Fab offers three different asset packs free of charge, and whether you're a budding indie game developer or a 3D artist, or just someone who wants to add to their library of assets, these are most definitely worth checking out. In this video, I'll give you a brief rundown of what's included in this Fortnite's free asset packs, as well as share a few of my own thoughts on their utility and their quality. But just before we get started, guys, I'd like to invite you all to join our free and public Discord server, the Pitchfork Academy. It's a great place to connect with like-minded people, share some of your work, and maybe get some help. If you'd like to jump on board, the invite link is in the description and in the pinned comment. But without further ado, let's take a look at these assets. Alrighty guys, now as you can see here, this Fortnite's assets are freely available until September 9 at 9.59 Eastern Time. And this time around we have the Abandoned Hospital by PacDev. The Conference Meeting Room Environment by Tenu. And Melee Weapon Aura VFX by Serlo. And I'm very excited to see more environment packs this fortnight, so let's jump on in and take a look at Abandoned Hospital by PacDev. It says here in the technical details that this pack includes 46 meshes in total, props and environment. 122 textures ranging from 1k to 4k, 52 materials and material instances, this demo layout scene, which yes it has collision but no LODs, and direct support from the dev. And I will say guys that these meshes and these materials and textures do look pretty good, but I don't think this demo level does the best job of showcasing the assets included here. And there's definitely some good stuff included, but immediately I noticed that the post-process volume in this demo level makes it quite hard to see with the auto exposure. So that was one of the first things I did was turn auto exposure off. And as you can see here, if I hide the post-process volume, it makes quite the difference. The main reason being the chromatic aberration, which as you can see here, if you turn it off, it makes a huge difference, even if you just turn that down because it was set quite high. And I don't think it's the best way to showcase these assets. If anything, this kind of environment lends itself to a bit of film grain, in my opinion. I'm not opposed to film grain. I think it works pretty well in games like The Last of Us. But yeah, there's not much else I can say about this one. As per usual with these environment asset packs, you know, you're probably not going to use the demo level in your project. You're going to pick and choose a few assets that you like, and there's definitely some decent assets in here. So I recommend picking this up while it's free from fab. Next up, guys, we have the conference slash meeting room environment by Tenure. The technical details list features such as 154 unique meshes, AAA quality attention to detail, controllable parameters in material instances, high quality assets, game ready and optimized. There's 228 textures ranging from 1K up to 4K. And these assets do have collision with custom collisions for the more complex assets and up to three LODs for the more complex assets. And what can I say, guys, the showcase level looks absolutely fantastic. Lots and lots of assets in here and placed very, very well with excellent use of textures and materials. And what more can I say? It's always really great to see fantastically well put together environment asset packs like this one. And I just love the variety of the different rooms throughout this showcase level. There's a kind of entryway, a meeting room. There's a sort of open planned living area. There's a staff room with a kitchen and this kind of little nook here with a foosball table and bean bags and everything looks great. If this kind of environment pack would be useful for you in your projects, you should absolutely grab it while it's free from fab. Lastly, we have the Melee Weapon Aura VFX pack by Serlo. 
the key features listed are dynamic auras and energy trails, infinite customization, 60 plus examples included, optimized for real time and ideal for RPGs, hack and slash and fighting games. And once again, guys, what you see is what you get. A bunch of these Niagara particle effects, which have the static meshes of these weapons factored right into them. So in theory, you could swap these out for your own weapons and maybe dial some of these Niagara effects back a little bit, because I will say that there seems to be a lot going on here. And I can't really think of too many applications for these assets in their current state, but there seems to be some pretty solid and exhaustive explanations here of what's going on with these Niagara effects. So yeah, maybe you could strip these back and make them look a little bit more down to earth. Or maybe you're making some kind of fantasy RPG with lots of different sort of over-the-top power-ups for your weapons, and maybe you can make use of these particle effects as is. Or maybe you know you'd like to jump into the materials here and just see if there's any textures you can use either way. I recommend grabbing this while it's free from fab and that's going to be it from me for this episode guys. If this video has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.